Hey everyone, it's Monday, May 16th, 2011. My name is Ryan, and you're watching the Baby Beaver Bunch. And I'm gonna try to make this video really, really super quick because I have a lot of things to do today. But this week's topic is how to deal with homophobic people in regards to do you just ignore them, go on your way, none of my business, or do you like confront them, educate them, and come out to them what what you do in the whole spectrum of things. Um, so personally, I think the best way to handle any situation when someone is ill-informed or ignorant is to educate them because usually, most of the time, um, the reason people are so hateful or uncomfortable with something is because they're so not well informed about it. And even if they are informed, they're usually like informed on the stereotypes and the things that the media perpetuates. That's not really true. Not sure what I'm doing with my hands, but um, yeah. So just if you if you can sit them down and have a serious one-on-one -on -one intellectual conversation. Not sure what I'm doing with my hands again. This is the ocean of today, but um just have, have a conversation that's not like angry or blaming or anything just try to try to inform them that's what I do personally because I love teaching people that is like that must sound nerdy but I really do I love teaching people I love informing people that's one of my passions is getting people like explaining things I don't know why I just love to explain um yeah but so most of the time, that's what you want to do. That's what I want to do. But I think you guys shouldn't feel obligated to do anything, really. Like, if you're uncomfortable with confronting someone, or if you're uncomfortable with educating someone on the subject, you don't have to feel obligated to walk up to every homophobic person you see and be like, Yo, Dad, that's not cool. Because when it comes down to it, y your comfort and your safety is my number one priority. Um, I think that if if you're not comfortable with coming out and confronting people, then you shouldn't. And you don't even really have to come out to educate people on the subject. You don't have to be like, hey, I'm gay and that's offensive. You can be like, that offends people, that's offensive, you shouldn't use that language. Um, but not like that. Um, I would just have a conversation with them, as I said numerous times before. Yeah, um, that's pretty much it. Um, I think it's good to educate people, but you don't have to. I just think that usually, if they're if they are not okay with it, then it's because they know so little. And a lot of the times, granted, they will close their ears and close their eyes and not listen to you no matter what but it's, I think that for me is still worth trying because you can open some people's eyes even if they don't want to admit it and some people don't even realize they're being homophobic sometimes as awkward as that may sound there are a lot of people that I've met and I can point out to them that they're doing something that that's offensive and they didn't they don't even realize it so yeah so that's it so um happy monday happy beginning of your week hope you guys have a fabulous rest of your week um what else do i say at the end of videos i'll see you next monday i think that's it so yeah bye guys